What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So let's get right into this question. I have this question here that was posted to me on my channel. It's from Aki Poen. I hope I pronounced that right, but um, it says, if I'm an early college student who will graduate with associate's degree and wants to attend a 3-2 pre-PA program, does that mean it will only take me three years to complete the program? Please respond. Oh, doing my dance, hey. I'm doing my dance, don't mind me. Okay, so when it's like a 3-2 or um, like a 3-3 three, three program, you know, so essentially five years or six years, no, that doesn't mean that it's taking you three years to complete the program. So what will happen is in a 3-2 program, they're direct entries. So because you already have your associate's degree, I'm not really sure if it works like that because what happens is you have to enter into the program from high school essentially directly into your undergraduate degree. So you will enter into that program, you will do three years of undergraduate, um, like your bachelor's core work, coursework, and then the next two years will be your actual like PA school coursework. So when you think of 3-3, it's the same thing, or you, well, 4-2 essentially. So you'll do four years of your bachelor's and then two years of your master's, which essentially is just going to a bachelor's degree and then getting into PA school. But the beauty or like the things that people really like about these direct entry programs is that they're just that. I don't have to sit up here and go to my bachelor's um, undergraduate school and then now have to apply to PA school all over again, like spending all that money and doing all that stuff because applying to PA school is pretty expensive. It's like $55 a pop um, and that is only for the initial CASPA application. That has nothing to do with any supplemental applications that you might have to actually shed out money for. And what the supplemental application is, it is the application that each particular school will send you in supplement with the CASPA application. So you apply through CASPA first. If you meet the requirements, they will send you a supplemental application, um, which usually comes with its own application fee. And then you will fill that out to enter into PA school. So with that being said, if in the three, two or the direct entry programs, you all you have to do is get into the program for your bachelor's degree and you're automatically admitted into PA school. So that is the beauty of it. So what I want you to do, Acupoen, is to call the school, look at their requirements, talk to them about, hey, you know, does this mean uh, that I will, as a person with an associate's degree, do I need to now still complete the full three years or can I knock a year out since I've completed, you know, know, two years of my undergraduate degree already. Look into that. I really don't know the answer to that one. So that might be something that you want to kind of just do a little bit of research on so that you're not making a poor decision. Um, you've already done two years of school. So essentially just finish the last two years out of your bachelor's degree and then get into PA school for two years. Um, Cause then you'll be on a two, two track instead of a three, two track. All right, thank you so much for asking me this question. Again, you guys, leave your comments and questions in the comment section below because I will answer them. It gives me great content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram, edit on the PA. Subscribe and like this video, and I will talk to you guys next time.